the classic red lips that every girl can wear. And this video is going to show you how to choose the right red lip color for your skin tone. Red lipstick is so in right now, but remember, it's a classic, so it never dates. Not every red, it's not a one size fits for all. Some red lip colors have different undertones, which I'm going to teach you about. It's kind of like a painting. Here, I'm taking a red paint color with a cooler undertone, and I'm going to paint it on this canvas, which has a warm undertone. Now, I'm going to take a different red color with a more orange or warm undertone, and I'm going to apply this on the same canvas. Notice how much brighter the color looks? Warm reds are going to look better on warm backgrounds. So the canvas to my right has a cool undertone. I'm going to apply a warm red and a cool red on it. Notice the difference? Cool reds complements cool undertones. So, how do we figure out our undertone color when it comes to our complexions? With cool undertones tend to have a pinker hue to their skin. A cool red will instantly brighten their complexion. Another method is trying on white clothes. Look and compare if a true white or off-white looks better on your skin tone. If off-white looks better on you, you have a warm undertone. If true white looks better on you, then you have a cool undertone. Auburn is obviously warm. She has a yellow undertone that gives her skin that golden look. So, we're going to use a lip color that has a more orange undertone to it. It will complement her skin tone beautifully and give her that radiant glow. Last but not least, my favorite method, which is the wrist method. Make sure you're outdoors for this. You need natural lighting. Look at your wrist and look closely at your veins. Are they blue? Then that means you have a cooler undertone. If you're olive, that means you have a warmer undertone. Because when yellow is mixed with blue, which is the color of your veins, it turns green. If you can't tell and you tend to look good in both gold and silver jewelry, then you're neutral. I have a neutral undertone, which means I can wear both warm or cool. These matte lipsticks are fun because not only is the color payoff amazing, but you don't have to worry about dry lips. These formulas are rich and hydrating without sacrificing the matte finish. So, don't be scared to wear loud colors because a matte texture will keep the look understated. I just recommend keeping the rest of your makeup simple, especially your eyes if you're going to play up your lips. So now we're finished. Notice how all our skin instantly looks brighter? Thanks to understanding and recognizing our undertones, we were able to select the right red lip color to complement each of us. So have fun finding your right shade. A red lip never dates.